How's it going everyone? John Connan here with Alexa Strings and welcome to this lesson on a track of mine called Quite Far Enough. We're going to be having a look at the main hook riff sort of section and you can do this on electric or acoustic so let's go into it. So throughout the whole riff we have this back beat going with our picking hand. Just basically place that where the snares would be so you'll see that lands where the snare would be. So just bear that in mind and try and integrate it into your playing as you're learning this. So we start off with the second finger on the eighth fret of the low E and our first finger on the seventh of the D. Hammered on and pulled off twice to the ninth fret of the D string. And what I'm doing here, I'm using my thumb for one of the strings and my second finger here for the D string. But really this is a thumb and finger style riff. So we start off with that. Then we have first finger on the seventh of the G and then we slide down to the seventh fret of the D string with our second finger on the fifth fret of the A. Open G, then the fourth fret of the D string, followed by another back beat. Then after that, we have an open G, hammered onto two, then an open B, followed by, so we're gonna have open E string, play with our thumb, second fret of the A string, fourth fret of the D string, then open G. And then here I'm using my thumb for the second fret of the low E, and my first finger on the second fret of the G. Then an open B string after that, followed by second finger on the third fret of the low E for that G, with an open G string as well. Then we're going to hammer on from the zero, two, four, then two, three, two, super quick. Pull that open and then two, zero on the D string. Then we go back up to this C chord and then we have a quick little double stop slide, which is the ninth fret. Quickly up the tenth and back down to the ninth pulled off to the seventh, and then we have this chord, which is really a D major, so we have our little finger on the 10th fret of the low E. First finger on the seventh fret of the D, G, and B strings. And this is really a D major, so we have our little finger on the 10th fret of the E, and our first finger barring the seventh fret of the D, G, and B strings. Again, with a backbeat after it. And then we have a Double stop slide, so that's gonna be third finger on the 11th of the G, second finger on the 10th fret of the B. Slid down two frets to the 9th and 8th. Pulled off to the 7th fret of the G and B. Then that's followed by, so we're gonna have an open E with our first finger barring the 7th fret of the D, G and B. And then we're gonna hammer on with our second finger to the 8th fret of the B, third finger to the 9th fret of the D string. Pull it off and back on twice. Back beat. So we have a back beat after that and then just the seventh fret again. And then we repeat this little pattern. Then after the back beat, we just do a 12th fret harmonic on the D, G and B strings. And that pretty much covers it for this little lesson of my track called Quite Far Enough. Originally, it's done with a capo on the first fret, but here I just thought I'd keep it simple, play it in standard tuning. So I hope you found this useful and feel free to make it your own, use it in your own development of your guitar playing. And I hope you've had fun. All that's left to say is I've been John Connor. Thanks for watching.